Aloha, welcome. Thank you for coming to today's live stream. My name is Master Paul, and it's my greatest honor to be here with you today. Uh, today is a Tuesday, and I want to say it's the 26th or 27th. I probably should be better at my dates, <clears throat> but thank you for coming. Today we're going to be focusing on the subject of fear and how to transform fear into courage. So it's going to be an excellent show. I hope that you stay. This is probably into my fourth month of doing live streams. I do them Monday through Friday, uh, 2 p.m. Hawaii time, 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time, and about 11 a.m. in Australia, and so forth. And uh, it's been uh, an excellent experience because more and more people uh, are being served by uh, Dr. M. Master Shaw's information. <coughs> Excuse me. And so it's my honor to be able to be here today to assist uh, everybody to be able to receive this wisdom. And um, it seems like a relatively popular subject. We've had about uh, 15, 20 people jump in right away, so that's wonderful. So I want to acknowledge and welcome Bradley, and then Magdalene and Amira. Welcome, welcome Linda, welcome Mary, welcome Nicole, Raul, good to see you back here Raul, and Kristen, welcome Tammy. Uh, also Eleanor, good to see you Eleanor, Patrice, and Jean, and then Dean has joined, welcome Dean, Shari, and Nicole, Tawana, and welcome everybody. So thank you all for coming today. <clears throat> I am at Master Shaw's Tao Healing Center in Honolulu right now. You can tell because I have this uh, uh, calligraphy behind me, which is Ling Guang, which means soul light. This is a special kind of calligraphy, so it's radiating some frequency. And I have this poor light on me that gives me a yellow face, so the good news is I'm, I don't have jaundice or a uh, liver issue. I just have a light that shows yellow on me. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have to continue to clear my throat because I've had some release of some sinus blockages, so that's a good thing. So welcome Connie, welcome Yvonne, welcome Felix. As indicated, today we're going to be focusing on the subject of fear. Fear comes to us from many different directions, it comes to us in many different ways. And I'm going to offer you a couple different angles and perspectives on it. Some of you may have heard it, some of it might be very new information for you. Uh, most of the mainstream does not know what to do with it or do about it. They don't really have a solution. They'll give you some uh, suggestions. They might say, you know, chant a certain uh, um, positive affirmation or something of that nature. But it's actually more than that. Fear has a root, just as any emotion, just as any sickness. And the root is what we're going to be talking about today. And I'm going to be uh, providing you with some potential solutions to help uproot fear and help you. Okay, so first and foremost, so we are going to connect heart to heart and soul to soul. So let us. Okay, I'm going to check the connection. Give me a minute. Okay, I'm back. The signal should improve now. Uh, thank you for your patience. So welcome Danta, welcome Amy, welcome Carol, welcome Sarah, welcome Patricia Dickinson. Thank you Mary for your caring. I'm actually fine and healthy, just clearing some sinus blockages. Uh, welcome Nancy. So again, let's, let's go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul, and invite in all the holy beings so we can receive the greatest blessings today. Placing our hands together in soul light, soul service hand position, which is much like a prayer, but we drop our left hand in front of our heart center. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Dear all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of the source, all beings of light serving the plan of the light side, including all masters, ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, kahunas, buddhas, bodhisattvas, all angels, healing angels, and archangels. We love you, honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. We ask for your presence here today to offer whatever blessings and guidance is most needed at this time that can assist each and every one of us in releasing blockages associated with the condition of the emotion of fear. We ask that you come to sit in our heart centers and clear the blockages the entire time of this teaching and blessing. <clears throat> Dear the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, love you, honor you, respect you. Thank you. We ask that you please be with us here today and offer us 
your blessings, your guidance as to how best we can serve our soul journey and release the fear. Dear the Source Soul Song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, honor you, appreciate you, and respect you. We ask <clears throat> at this time that you please turn on. We ask that as we chant love, peace, and harmony, that you bless us to clear our blockages for this emotional condition and to bless our soul journey. We ask all souls and all universes to join us. If you know the Source Soul Song, Love, Peace, and Harmony, please chant with me. If you do not, keep your eyes closed and receive the blessings. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai, wo xin er ling. Wo ai, tren ren ling. Wong ling rong her mu shir shang. Xiong ai ping on her she. Xiong ai ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So what I just sang was called the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. For those that are not familiar with it, you can find it at lovepeaceharmony.org.org. <coughs> Excuse me. It is a song that is free to download and free to distribute. The copyright has been removed. It is a song that has been written out in over 30 languages and that if sung, can literally bring healing to you very, very quickly. It is a song that will be recommended today as part of the healing aspect in the releasing of the condition of fear. So today's subject, as has been mentioned, is around the subject of fear. What is the source of it? How can we address it from the uh, origination point? If we try to address it from the place of the mind, we're going to lose every time. I shouldn't say that. We're going to lose the majority of the time. Sometimes we succeed, but it doesn't necessarily fully go away. One of the reasons it doesn't go away is because of the root of fear. Now, in the traditional Chinese medicine teachings, which is what Dr. and Master Shah, who is my spiritual teacher and father, he grew up in that. He received a degree in traditional Chinese medicine. He also received a degree in American medicine and then went on to train under many great masters. <clears throat> in traditional Chinese medicine, they refer to his fear as having a direct association to uh, the element of the water element and the organ, the associated organ of the kidneys. So, there are some other associations that have to do with this. So people that carry a great deal of fear, it creates a great deal of imbalance in their kidneys as well. This can create problems including hearing or hearing loss. It could create problems in terms of bone and bone density issues. It could also create problems uh, having to do with other aspects of the water element. Let me flip to that page so I read to you directly the information. Lula, lula, li. When you know I had it marked and then I moved my marker, so now I gotta find it again. Lula, lula. Here we go. Okay. So, um, Urinary bladder. Um, for those that have urinary bladder infections often, check with yourself. Do you have fear conditions? These are sometimes related. <clears throat> Bones and joints, um, ears and hearing, of course, fear. Now, the, there's called it a balanced emotion, which in, in the book I'm working out of, it says the balanced emotion is calmness. Yes, that is accurate. At the same time, a balanced emotion could equally be courage because when we lack courage, that is when we're in a place of fear. Now, fear is part of what is called the water element. 
<clears throat> it has an associated opposite, which is fire. Fire is associated with the heart element, and that has an association with anxiety and depression. So it is equally not uncommon that anxiety and depression could be also at times felt by someone who operates in the realm of fear. What brings fear to us? <clears throat> there are many different possible solutions to it. I'm going to share with you what my teacher and spiritual father shares with me as far as the um, spiritual reasons for it. The one sentence secret is the root cause of success and failure in every aspect of life is karma. The root cause of fear is karma. The root cause of anger, the root cause of worry, depression, anxiety is karma. <clears throat> so that's the root. What does that mean? How does that associate with you in this physical world that you really live in? Fear comes to us in real world forms. It comes to us in fear of driving. It comes to us in fear of our ability to be a good mother to our children. It comes to us in fear of, uh, of um, eating a certain food or, or, or flying or whatever it might be. We all have different aspects of it in the way it shows up to us, some more than others. <clears throat> Sometimes it's labeled as anxiety when actually it's fear. Sometimes it's fear when it's labeled as anxiety. Okay? There are different. One belongs to the fire element associated with the heart. One belongs to the water element associated with the kidneys. And they tend to polarize and imbalance each other. So today, as part of this healing teaching and wisdom, we're going to do practices to balance the fire and water element. When the fire and water element are out of balance, we can have uh, one major thing that is relatively common with both of these emotions, which is a lack of good and healthy sleep. This is imbalance in the fire and the water element, the heart and the kidneys. So <clears throat> emotions can reside. If we have a lot of fear, it impacts our kidneys. If we have kidney problems, it could create a lot of fear. So it works both directions. So how do we address it? We address it by the nature of what's called the water element. In the water element, it is found in all of nature. It is found in every cell. It is found in every organ. It is found in solar systems. The five elements, just for general information, is wood, fire, earth, metal, water. And when they're in harmony, we are in harmony. When they're out of harmony, then we are in disharmony. <clears throat> so how do we bring balance to the water element? We can apply many different uh, ways to bring healing to it. We can bring healing to our kidneys, which will impact it. We can bring healing specifically to the condition of fear, which will positively bless our kidneys. We can bless the fire element associated with the heart, <clears throat> and that could positively affect our kidneys, the opposite of the water element. So ideally, you want to address it from a multiple of angles, not just one. But the root cause, as we know, is karma. Why does karma come to us? What's the reason that we suffer in any form, however that form shows up? The reason we have any form of unpleasant experience is as a reminder. It's a teaching instrument. It's not there to make us to suffer so that we learn nothing out of it and complain the rest of our life, which is what a lot of us do. It's there to assist us so that we can transform it. I was working with a client yesterday, uh, not on this specific subject, but it was on the subject of transforming a blockage. And what I shared with her was a step-by-step -step repeatable process that you should write down because you can repeat this under any condition, anywhere, anytime. And if you consistently repeat it, you will get consistent results. It will help you transform virtually anything regardless of what it is. And the reason why is very simple. It's built on the understanding of karma. The root of success and the root of failure in every aspect of life is karma. And if we can comprehend that, we can transform it. So let's say that you have a, a constant negative thought or a fear thought or an anxiety thought or you have too much anger. Any emotion, we'll just stay with emotions for now. <clears throat> and I want to uh, stop for a moment and welcome Johnny and Chanel and Grat Gratiella. Welcome, welcome Nicole, welcome Angela and Scott, uh, welcome Monica and welcome everybody else if I haven't mentioned you. So transforming any emotion, which we'll stay with for now, any condition really that applies to everything, if, it, if, it, if it's blocking you, 
you apply this. Step one, acknowledgement. Step two, forgiveness practice. Step three, bless it to transform. I'm going to teach you how to do each in a step-by-step -step manner. <clears throat> step one, acknowledge it. Let's say it's fear. Ah, there's that fear again. Ah, I really hate this emotion. Okay, well, that starts off with the wrong, <laughs> the wrong comment. You want to start with acknowledgement with love. Okay, why? Because love melts all blockages. Another one sentence secret that Dr. and Master Shah has taught us is that everything has a soul. Everything. That means an emotion has a soul. A thought has a soul. An organ, a system, everything has a soul. Why? Because everything is from Creator. Everything has spark of divine, therefore everything has a soul. The second one sentence secret is every soul's purpose is to serve. Okay, let's put it together. We have karma in our face, whatever it might show up as. Fear, anger, pain, uh, relationship issue, doesn't matter. If we're suffering, it has some kind of karmic root. <clears throat> First step, acknowledge it. Second step, love, okay? We cannot address it the way we have been addressing it. Has it worked for you? Has it really helped you out so far? <clears throat> we address it with love, why? because it is a soul, and that soul's purpose is to serve. When we have something, uh, a bad relationship, we get cheated on, and then we get rid of that relationship, and we get into another one, and we get cheated on again, and we get rid of that relationship, and we prepare even better, and we get into another one, and it happens again. Karma. How are you supposed to address that with your mind? Not possible. It's karma. How do you remove the karma? Acknowledge it. Send it love. Send it love. <clears throat> when we acknowledge it, and the love comes to recognizing it's a soul and it has a purpose. Dear the soul of this experience of fear. The way this fear is coming to me. Fear of da 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 da, whatever it might be. Fear of spiders, fear of uh, communication, fear of my boss, doesn't matter. Dear the soul of this fear. I love you. You have continually shown up in my life. That means you have a purpose. You're trying to serve me. Thank you for your service. You are bringing me some very valuable experiences and lessons and giving me the opportunity to permanently transform you and send you back to light. Step number one, acknowledgement with love that everything has a soul. That soul is here to serve you. <clears throat> Step number two, forgiveness. The lady I was talking with earlier uh, today, she said, I'm having troubles at work. I, I'm doing my job. I'm doing it well. The people that I'm talking to, I should be compassionate for them because they're going through a great deal of stuff. And something happened that, that knocked off their planning <clears throat> to the series of events that are supposed to occur in specific planning. They've, they've, they've wrapped their life around this specific plan. Something happened. I had no control over it. It happened outside of me. They're blaming me. So now she's in this place of irritation. And I said, stop. Let's just look at the root of what's happening here. You're getting blamed for something you didn't do. And you're feeling upset about that. She said, yes, that's the bottom line. It's okay. We do forgiveness around that. Because whatever it is we're experiencing, we have brought upon another. You keep getting fear about a specific thing, what do you think you caused upon another? If you have fear of spiders, then that means you threw spiders at people. This is an example, I don't know what you did. <clears throat> if you have fear of water, that means that at some point in time, water has been brought to harm fear to others, Maybe you've caused others to drown. Maybe uh, uh, um, uh, 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 any number of things. Doesn't matter. We don't have to know the specifics. We do know that if we have a fear of something, someone, some experience, it's reasonable and likely that we have brought that experience upon others. Very simple. You can apply this wisdom to any aspect of your life, including relationships. Okay? <clears throat> So, now we've identified it, we've recognized it as a soul that's 
trying service, and now we're moving into forgiveness. But why did I take this time? Because we have to identify its service to us before we can flip it and make it into a forgiveness. If we recognize that we are fearful of something, then we can ask for forgiveness to all those souls that we may have caused that fear to them. Now, here's the thing. I had to explain this twice to the, to the uh, lady I was teaching earlier today. <clears throat> I said, karma is not just from this life. Sometimes it follows us many lives and sometimes we don't get the message. It keeps beating us over the head and beating us over the head and beating us over the head and we don't get it. And so it comes into us next life as well. So fear may have been following you for many lifetimes. Anger, if you have anger issues, could be following you for many lifetimes and so forth. Relationship issues could be following you for many lifetimes. The subject matter is irrelevant. The process is the same. We identify it. We see it's a soul that is trying to serve us. <clears throat> we acknowledge the service by identifying exactly what it is. Oh, this is trying to teach me this. Now let's say, ask for forgiveness for taking this away from somebody, for harming somebody on the other side of the coin. Dear all souls, this is an example of forgiveness. If in this or any lifetime, I have brought any form of fear to you in any way, especially if I have brought fear to you around driving, if I have caused you to have a fear of water through any actions of mine, whatever they might be, if I have caused you to have a fear of being in an intimate relationship, I deeply, deeply, deeply and sincerely, sincerely apologize. Now, have you ever thrown a pebble into the water and you watch the ripple effect go dunk, 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 out and out and out and it keeps going? What happens when you ask for forgiveness for something that you're on the receiving end of? You're on the receiving end of adultery. You're on the receiving end of fear. It doesn't matter. When you flip the coin and you ask for forgiveness for having done that to somebody else, including the one that might have hurt you or whoever might have brought you that fear, what in essence you're doing is you're unwinding the ripple effect. You're flattening out the ripples. You're creating a reversal of that which has shown up at you probably more than once. It's coming at you again and again and again. Time to stop it. Time to recognize the wisdom and lessons that it is bringing you. Everything that is suffering is a lesson. Everything that is occurring in your life that you don't like is a lesson. It is an opportunity to transform, to change to light, to change to love, to see its service. Ah. I love you. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to finally transform you. I've been holding on to this grudge this whole time, this anger, this fear, this anxiety, da 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 da. <clears throat> it doesn't matter what label you've given it. Stop. Acknowledge it. Give it love. Ask for forgiveness. Offer forgiveness if you've been the victim. Offer forgiveness to the victimizer. It is irrelevant that you're right and they're wrong. How has that served you? It is irrelevant that you're in the cage rattling the bars and they're out there dun -dun 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 -dun, dancing around doing more of what you don't like and it's driving you crazy. Does that help you even a little bit? Does it? Doesn't it make more sense to say it's time to recognize the lesson and release this soul, the fear or whatever it is that you're the victim of. Ask for forgiveness. Offer forgiveness. Because in the offering of forgiveness, that soul is no longer tied to you. That soul no longer owes you a karmic retribution in the, uh, the true offering of forgiveness. Not though I forgave them, I let them go. You know, I'm not going to think about it anymore. I'm done with that. That's not true forgiveness. That's covering stuff up. <clears throat> true forgiveness is recognizing I may have been the creator of this unpleasantry that I'm on the receiving end of. That's 
a recognition so that when you do the forgiveness practice and you do it from this much deeper place of awareness then you have the opportunity to transform that step number four what's step number one what's step number one acknowledgement what's step number two love see the message see that it has a soul and it's trying to serve you what is step number three forgiveness that's right good job and taking good notes good job step number four now it's the most important step this next one you don't do it not going to transform very well <clears throat> step number four is soul power step number four is using the power of soul to turn the karma around and to transform it to release the energetic blockages because fear doesn't just reside in the kidneys it's in the brain it's in the heart it's in the right shoulder it's all over fear is an energetic pattern and it could be all over the physical being we have emotional body physical body mental body they call it an emotional body because it's not just at one part of your body and so in order to release it we want to use soul power what is soul power soul power is the highest power that has come to humanity in the form of a reminder everybody knows we have a soul <clears throat> but we might not think that fear has a soul that a relationship has a soul that an organ or a system has a soul everything has a soul and the purpose of every soul is to serve so we want to use soul power to transform this soul of fear in this case and so what transforms everything love so we're going to apply the soul power of love in the form of the song of love peace and harmony why would i use this one song on such a consistent basis and almost every time i teach i use it every time i go into the into this live stream <clears throat> i uh chant love peace and harmony why you, did i just like the song why don't i chant something from metallica why don't i chant something from the eagles because this song is a healing song this song carries a frequency way higher than you and me way higher than fear way higher than anxiety way higher than anything you can think of the song carries a frequency so high that when you uh, address it towards something you want to transform it has no choice but to uplift its frequency and dissolve and disappear that's why that's why we use soul power okay four powers body power mind power sound power soul power now let's transform this fear that you have everybody choose one specific fear that you want to transform <clears throat> fear of failure, fear of success, fear of spiders, fear of water, fear of love, fear of relationships. You pick your fear. <clears throat> okay. Everything that I'm sharing is from Dr. and Master Shaw's teachings. I encourage all of you that are new to learn more about him www.drsha.com drsha.com one of the most benevolent and intelligent beings on the planet who teaches us how to transform our karmic blockages and better yet gives us <coughs> um, opportunities to transform them very quickly okay four powers first power body power sit up straight back away from the back of the chair if it's not going to cause you pain feet flat on the floor <coughs> um, Thank you, Kristen, for posting these websites that I mentioned. You rock. Place your hands. You can place your hands one over the other on your lower abdomen. <clears throat> but in this case, I'm going to ask you to put one hand on your lower abdomen. The other hand, if you can reach, on your kidneys. Okay, those are on your, your uh, back, the lower part of your back. <clears throat> and if it's uncomfortable, you can switch your hands. That's okay. The reason we're putting them on the kidneys is simple. It's part of the water element, which has an association with the condition of fear. So this is your body power. You will, of course, close your eyes when the time comes. Sound power, we're going to chant a mantra that is in Master Shah's books. The book that I'm working out of is called Dao Song, Dao Dance. It's backward in your uh, computer. Dao is spelled T-A-O. Dao Song, Dao Dance. And he goes in through quite a few uh, teachings and wisdoms in here. 
recommend this book to anybody uh, on if you truly want to open your energy systems and bring healing to yourself. <clears throat> um, I'm working on page 54, by the way, if you happen to have your book. So this mantra is Yu Ya Yo Dao. Yu Ya Yo Dao. You will hear me chant this mantra in a certain pattern. And the reason it's chanted in this pattern is that it carries a vibrational frequency. Remember, everything's about frequency. When we're transforming a lower frequency such as fear to a higher frequency such as love and peace and harmony, then we apply the four powers. So the sound power. Mind power, we're going to visualize in the area of our kidneys, urinary bladder, we're going to visualize golden light. Okay, golden light. Soul power, everybody, Close your eyes, repeat after me. Put your hands where I taught you, close your eyes, repeat after me. Dear the soul of my kidneys, dear the soul of the water element and the emotion of fear, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for reminding me of anything that I may have done to harm others. <clears throat> you have the ability to transform and to release fully and completely from me. Do a good job. Now I'm going to walk you through a forgiveness practice. Dear all souls, continue to repeat, dear all souls, in this in any lifetime, if I or my ancestors have brought the condition of fear to you, and you can state your specific fear. You could say, if we ever cause you to have fear of, da 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 da. Truly, I deeply and sincerely, sincerely apologize. I wish you to know that I have experienced great fear in this area and I have not enjoyed it. I have learned my lessons and I do not wish to cause fear for anybody ever again. Please forgive me. Please forgive my ancestors. I'm very, very, very grateful. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. And so, with our eyes closed, let us chant, follow my mantra. Yu ya yo dao, visualizing golden light in your kidney area. Yu ya yo dao. Yu ya yo dao. Yu ya yo dao. Yu ya yo dao. You ya yo dao, 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 you ya yo dao. You ya yo dao, you ya yo dao, you ya yo dao. Continue to visualize, continue to chant. I will turn on some additional treasures and send them to each of you to bless the release of this condition of fear as appropriate. I ask the treasures that I've just turned on to please radiate out to each of these souls that are watching this video live <clears throat> now and in the future. Bless them to release this condition of fear, to shine your highest frequencies upon this, to transform to light. Thank you. Yu ya yo dao, yu ya yo dao. You ya yo dao, you ya yo dao, you ya yo dao, you ya yo 
dao yu ya yo dao yu ya yo dao yu ya yo dao yu ya yo dao yu ya yo dao yu ya yo dao yu ya yo dao yu ya yo dao yu ya yo dao continue to visualize golden light surrounding your kidneys surrounding your entire body releasing fear see the fear bubbling up and bubbling out ask for forgiveness ask for forgiveness for causing the fear that you have made the request for ask for forgiveness for causing that same fear upon others this is why we have any form of this suffering <clears throat> You ya yo da 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 you ya you down <clears throat> now place both hands over your kidneys repeat after me dear the soul of my kidneys i love you i really love you you have the power to release blockages in my water element to balance the emotion of fear do a great job. Thank you. And then simply chant, boost my kidneys, 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 heal my kidneys, heal my kidneys, heal my kidneys, heal my kidneys. Heal my kidneys, heal my kidneys, heal and boost 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 my kidneys. Continue to chant silently, and I will offer you a soul reading as to what is happening at this time. <clears throat> at this time, there are four golden light balls that has come to each of those that is chanting and doing this practice. One of the golden light balls is bouncing between the two kidneys, circulating in a circular motion clearing the blockages of the fear at the level of kidneys. Another is going through the Dao Soul Song channel, up through the seven soul houses, back down in front of the spinal column, clearing the blockages in the spaces between the seven chakras, which are direct, directly associated with a great deal of the fear-based blockages. The other two are gravitating towards imbalances wherever they might be in your particular vessel. There are quite a few that have blockages in the brain, including and associated to negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs. There are some attachments associated with fear as well. <clears throat> and even for a few, there is a bit of ego that has fear associated with it as that is a defensive mechanism. These are being directly addressed, much like an eraser coming in and addressing each of these directly. There is also specific saints and saints animals that have been trained 
to deal with this condition and the associated darkness. They have come to each of you as well to offer their blessings using their known frequencies to help transform this specific kind of emotional blockage. There is great frequency for each of you that is occurring at this time as you are continuing to chant and visualize. The average percentage of every person's fear that has diminished is 17%. Although that might not sound like a large number, you have only been serving this process for about eight minutes. So to consider that this practice has diminished that particular fear by 17% is truly remarkable. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. How? <clears throat> okay, so everybody open their eyes. So share with me what were some of your experiences with this, including uh, emotions. Did you have any emotions come up? Did you have any emotions after doing this? Was, was any emotions you were experiencing, did they feel better? Did you experience a heat, sensation, vibration? And also any aha moments around how to transform this emotional condition? <clears throat> Anything that you thought you understood before, but now you have a much better understanding or you're so uh, grateful that you have now learned a new way to approach this emotional condition. This again is not for me. This is so that other people see as they're looking through the comments, ah, oh, there was value in this teaching. Maybe I'll watch the whole hour. Because, you know, one of the videos I did last week had a thousand views, but I think maybe only a hundred people watched it all the way through from beginning to end. So your comments have a big uh, impact on what people do Will they watch it all the way through because that's what's going to serve their soul journey. It's the practices, it's the blessings, it's the, it's the, those aspects that really bring the greatest benefits. <clears throat> so thank you for sharing. I see that, that uh, uh, Jean says just believing, uh, Megan says feeling much lighter, uh, Raina says that she's feeling emotional. Okay, we're going to cover that in a second as to why something like that might happen. Nicole says, I started tearing up during the forgiveness chant. Wonderful. Megan is great, uh, very grateful. Thank you. Feeling lighter, felt relief and tingling, says Tawana. And so, so why do we have, sometimes we feel this, uh, 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 you know, this emotion because we're dealing with it at the core. What's the solution? More. Do more of it, it will process through. In your case, we've brought it to a point where it was getting close to fully releasing. We just go back into it. You ya yo dao, you ya yo dao. Heal my kidneys, bless my kidneys, heal my kidneys, bless my kidneys. Release fear, release fear, release fear. So again, what are the steps? <clears throat> Step number one, acknowledgement. I see it when it shows up. Don't go down that pattern. Don't allow that emotion or that pattern to take over. Even if you're, you're into it, you caught it. If you're into it, it doesn't matter. If you catch it, stop. Just stop. If, you ha if you're in the middle of anger and yelling at somebody, stop. Leave the room. What's the pattern? Identify it. What's step number two? Step number two, love. This is a soul. It's trying to serve you. Dear the soul of this emotion, I've just caught myself in this pattern of, I love you, thank you for this service. You have the ability to transform to light. You've done a great job teaching me all this time. Please forgive me for not paying better attention. You've been teaching me for the last 10 years. Finally, I get to wake up and honor you for the service you're offering. <clears throat> so, I love you, thank you for your service. I no longer need your service of keep teaching me this fear. You can transform to light, do a good job. That's step number two. Step number three, forgiveness. What are we asking and offering forgiveness for? Whatever the fear is, we fear water, we ask for causing others to have a fear of water. If we fear spiders, we ask for causing others to have that fear of spiders. Doesn't matter what it is, fear of love, we ask for forgiveness for causing others to have a fear of love. When we ask for forgiveness, we are releasing karmic debt that has come to us in this form. When we offer forgiveness, 
and move from a victim to a recognizer of, of being someone that is so, um, so uh, aware of the, the circular nature of things. And we move from victim to recognizing that we might have initiated what has come to us and made us the victim. Then we can offer forgiveness with that open heart. Step number four, do a practice like this. Now, you may not remember Yu Ya Yo Dao. So the stop gap, the once, always, forever thing that you do, do those three steps, then ask, Dear the soul song of love, peace, and harmony, I love you. As I chant you, can you please transform this blockage of fear? If you're dealing with a relationship, as I chant you love, peace, and harmony, can you please chant this relationship blockage? Whatever it is you've identified, sent love to, done forgiveness practice around, finish it with an example like what I just did together, or the soul song of love, peace, and harmony. So you can do what we just did, the body power, the visualization, the light, the, the three powers, the soul power, but instead of Yu Ya Yo Dao, which is specific to the kidneys and the water element, you can simply chant love, peace, and harmony. Uh, Kristen has put the link to it, lovepeaceharmony.org. You can download the music there. And I'll repeat again for anybody that's new that's come in, this song is not your kindergarten song, okay? This song will literally improve your relationship, bring money to you, change your health, remove blockages. It will transform every aspect of your life if you just keep it on 24-7. Just put it on volume one. You don't even have to hear it. It will transform your life. That's the kind of healing song it is, which is why it's the last thing you do, because it is what will transform these blockages. Stopping and identifying them, sending them forgiveness, that'll help a lot, but you need a lot more love and light, and you need a higher frequency. That's the four steps. Okay? I'll read a few more of these responses. Um, let's see. So, Raina says, yes, relieve new approach and clarity. Great. Thank you, Raina. Uh, Sarah says, experienced myself as a small child far away from home in a fearful environment. Ah. Yeah, and that could absolutely impact you when you walk into a new and unknown environment. You could have a lot of apprehension around that. <clears throat> so this is how you can address it. So Shana Sugg says, felt heat in the kidneys and coolness on the shoulders and arms. Very good awareness, Shana. Francis Myers, welcome Francis. Uh, excellent teaching, Master Paul. Uh, for me, the peak moment was when you explained the importance of flipping the coin. Yes, flipping the coin on forgiveness, very relevant. Even though I do offer forgiveness um, that I have caused fear, etc. Um, so Janet says she felt heat in the kidneys. Great. And Kristen Strachan, I couldn't come up with all that much I'm afraid of. <laughs> Am I deluded? I love your humor, Kristen. Um, no, <laughs> you're probably not deluded. You've probably just done quite a bit of homework and you're a strong soul. Um, some of us just don't have a lot of fear. We have other emotions, anger, you know, resentment, all these other things. Uh, so Tara, young pain is watching. Tara, hopefully you caught some of what I'm sharing with you. Rob Rett jumped in there. And uh, thank you, Rob Rett, for uh, asking to be on my email list. <clears throat> and then Raina, sensation in her spine and kidneys. Linda, feeling grateful, heat in the kidneys, tingling in the body from Elizabeth. Um, Nancy went back to kindergarten when she brought a large stuffed rabbit for show and tell and was hiding it under the table before show and tell. That's great. Love it. Um, okay. And so feeling little pops and releasing the left kidneys and vibration in the legs more in the left than the right. Great observation, Ande. Uh, Ande Anda. Not sure how to pronounce it. So the teachings of, of Dr. Master Shah truly are simple. They revolve around love and forgiveness. What separates his teachings from those that are typical out there is soul power. I cannot emphasize enough, no matter where you are under any condition, anywhere, if you find yourself in need of some support, remember the soul world. Dear God, dear Jesus, dear Buddha, call them all. If they're in heaven, they can serve you. They want to serve you. That's why they're in heaven. Because heavenly spiritual beings 
are there because they offer service. That's why they have such a high soul standing. And by calling them, they can could come and serve you, and they probably will. The other aspect of soul power is the inner souls, the soul of our kidneys, the soul of the emotion of fear. Everything has a soul. And it is this new recognition of this power that literally can transform any aspect of life. I have seen so many things transform in what might take days and weeks in a matter of minutes because of soul power. It is extraordinary when you move closer to this understanding. And it's built on a couple of one sentence secrets. And I'll remind you of them as I mentioned them earlier. The root of success and failure in every aspect of life is karma, Dr. and Master Shah. Another one sentence secret is everyone and everything has a soul and the purpose of every soul is to serve. So when we recognize that, we can work with it in such a beautiful and powerful way. I want to make two callings at this point. <clears throat> there is uh, one of the ladies that is watching now, two of the ladies actually that are watching now have received uh, a blessing for emotions. Um, one received it for the emotion of fear and um, in this person's case, I know I did a soul reading and, and they thought it was the emotion of anxiety, but it turned out that it was not. The emotion of anxiety is related to the heart and heart related blockages. <clears throat> um, whereas the emotion of fear is more related to the earth element and the kidneys. In this person's condition, it was more related to the condition of fear. Another person I talked to though, uh, that person's condition uh, was a significant anxiety. In both cases, these are definitely deeply karmic related. Remember, they, they come up when we don't want them. They inhibit us from doing the things we want to do. They literally make us want to stay in the house. It doesn't matter what that emotion is, if it's fear, if it's worry, if it's anxiety, if it's depression. Depression is huge. You can drug yourself to death with depression, but you're not going to solve your problems. Um, how do you clear it? You can do it the way we've been talking. But sometimes that darkness that has come to us because of the karma generations that us and our ancestors have caused just doesn't want to leave. It just wants to hang around and make us suffer because we or our ancestors may have created great suffering in a previous time. And therefore, uh, uh, one or two forgiveness practices <laughs> just not going to work. So divine services at that point serve a, 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 a very good important connection. What is divine services? It's, it's um, something that I or any of Dr. and Master Shah's worldwide representatives can offer. So it can be offered in person or remotely. It's uh, an order is given in which the uh, Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages, which is soul, mind, heart, body, karmic blockages, have to leave when the light comes in. New energy and matter is what comes in, and it's karma-free energy and matter. The energy matter that's on your body and at the soul level is tainted if you have these kinds of sufferings. And it has to go. Light wall protection is offered, and uh, blessings are offered to clear it. I don't have time to fully explain. Do more homework, go to my website, watch the eight minute video that explains it more clearly. Um, the folks that have received this have already started receiving some significant results. Um, one of the persons that received the anxiety, I have not heard of any attacks since then. Uh, uh, they've been practicing chanting love, peace and harmony and so forth. I've only heard of it getting better. So um, I've applied this same transmission system to others for significant loathing, depression, uh, ready to kill themselves conditions. They've completely flopped. They're getting uh, external help. They're asking for forgiveness to all those that they have brought great suffering to. They are completely flopped overnight <clears throat> because when the darkness is removed, all the vices on the mind level no longer have a grip. So these are called divine services and you can receive them. You can go to my website, asohealer.com. And this is what we call divine services because it's the, it's the fast track. It's like, um, uh, I just want to be done with this. Uh, we don't make promises, but after doing this so many years, I can tell you, if you just want to be done with it, you want to check into divine services. Um, everything that we teach is self-help and it will absolutely work if all your conditions are mild. But if you've had these conditions for a long time and nothing's worked, you want to look into divine services, okay? The last calling that I want to make to you is um, sign up for my newsletter if you haven't already. Um, very soon I'll be releasing the first one. It will include some very special opportunities for the first time. And one of them is I will be offering 
twice a month healing blessings. There'll be uh, 30 minute blessings, each blessing, and there'll be two ways you can do it. You can just sign up once and just receive a one-time blessing for 30 minutes, or you can sign up on an automatic and receive twice a month. There will be um, a cost differential for those that do an automatic blessing. It'll be really affordable, and it, uh, you can automatically receive it um, because you agree to have a small automatic deduction. Um, but the level of blessing, uh, not something you want to pass up. It will be of great, great, great value for whatever uh, condition you wish to ask for. So it won't be limited. You can request finances. You can request blessings for your relationship. You can request health. And you can change it each time. So you get two blessings a month and you can change your request each time if you'd like to. So go to my website, asoulhealer.com and uh, sign up for my newsletter and you'll be made abreast of that. Probably about next week is when I'm going to release it. Okay? So thank you all for coming. Make sure uh, that you hit the subscribe button uh, at the top corner of this video. Uh, I think it shows up now or when I finish. <clears throat> and um, you'll know when I go live. So until then, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.